St. Anthony's bread traditionally refers to loaves of bread blessed and shared in honor of St. Anthony and to alms given to the poor in thanksgiving for blessings received through the prayers of St. Anthony. One legend dates back to the year 1263 when a child drowned near the Paduan Basilica of St. Anthony during its construction. The child's mother prayed to the saint to bring her boy back to life. In return, she promised to give the poor an amount of corn equal to the child's weight. The child was miraculously revived in no time. The mother made good on her promise by donating loaves of bread equal to the boy's weight among the poor. Centuries later, in 1888, a woman named Louise Bouvier, who managed a small bakery in the seaside village of Toulon, France, one day found she could not open the bakery's door with her key. She called a locksmith, but he couldn't open the door as well. He told her that he would have to break the door open. While he went to get his tools, Louise prayed to St. Anthony. In return, she promised to give some of her bakery's bread to the poor if the door could be opened without force. I'm sorry to interrupt. This is a quick update regarding our Patreon tiers. Due to some technical reasons, we were unable to deliver the ebooks as promised through Patreon for the last few months. We have already completed these books months before, and we will try to deliver these to you directly. Starting this month, we are changing the benefits for those who support us in this tier. We have no words to thank you enough. You are simply awesome. In return, we will include yours or your loved one's pictures in the video. Send us the pictures and we will use them as such or illustrate them and include them in the credit scene. Since we cannot make the videos long, we are limiting this slot for 50 people. You can follow the Patreon link for more details. I also humbly request all other viewers to consider the number of saint stories you learned in the past year, the value you got from it, and support us, if possible, by donating. Your support will help us make more videos. Thanks again, and God bless you. When the locksmith returned, he tried the lock again with regular keys. By a miracle, the key worked and the door opened. True to her word, Louise made sure that the poor of Toulon received their due. Before long, Louise's friends began to follow her example of promising a gift of bread or alms to the poor in return for prayers answered by the intercession of St. Anthony. In the 1890s, they formalized this practice by founding a charity called St. Anthony's Bread. In the spirit of this charity, some parishes bless and distribute small loaves of bread on June 13th his feast day. If you are making bread for the poor or to share with family and friends, here is a prayer you can use from the Franciscan liturgical books. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you glory for the gift of bread, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and source of our daily nourishment. Bless this bread in honor of St. Anthony. Teach us to share 
all your gifts with the poor, the forsaken, and the hungry. All praise be to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.